Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Clipville Slasher. I am your host, Serge Frank Wilkes, and it's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Let's get started. I hope everyone's having an awesome week so far. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking about a movie that is very, very cool. One of my favorites, and that is 2016's Green Room. Uh, it stars Sir Anthony, or Sir Anthony, sorry, Sir Patrick Stewart and Anton Yelchin. Uh, as along with a lot of other great characters, a lot of great actors as well. Um, it was uh, directed by Jeremy Selner, and it made uh, box office $3.8 million. Um, so a little rundown of this film is you've got this punk band that are from D.C., and they're on tour, and they're a struggling punk band. You know, they're out siphoning gas, and they're just getting paid from show to show. Now, at some point, they're promised a show, and the show kind of falls through. They end up doing, like, this podcast. They're talking about how they're going to make, like, a, uh, a record, and their show kind of falls through. They're a little mad at the promoter, and the promoter says, hey, well, they, they're like, well, you know, this is, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So they're a little mad at the promoter, and they say, well, it's either, you know, go home, tour's over, or we try to pick up another show and the promoter tells him about this show that's in Oregon he says well there's a problem uh just to like as let you know that this club you're gonna go play at will pay you pretty good money but the club is full of skinheads Nazi skinheads so the band's like well you know they're mostly at all of our shows we could tell we could totally do go do it so they decide to go to the show um and they play this show out in this small little town and uh at like kind of this little club uh, place out in Oregon and uh, when they play after they play the show they get on stage they play uh, Dead Kennedys Nazi punks fuck off which you know is is a classic punk rock move um, and then after the show they're getting paid and they go back to the green room where they find a phone they're, they're charging the only cell phone that they have so they go in the Anton Yelchin goes into the room he's like hey y'all sorry I'm just grabbing my phone and when he op when he opens the door, he looks down and sees that the other band actually uh, is involved in a murder, and they basically witness a murder. And from then on, it is absolutely balls to the walls, absolute insanity. Um, the acting in it is top notch. Now, this movie is scary if you're in a band and you're out there and like if you put yourself and your band in this sort of situation. It is a very intense movie. It does have horror elements, but I think it's more of a, you know, like a suspenseful drama. Um, the ending is very good. The acting is top-notch, and it has Anton, Ye the late, great Anton Yelchin in it. So, um, <clears throat> and actually, what's really cool about this room is that if you see this guy right here, this guy right here that's in the green army jacket, that's actually my friend John. We went to high school together. So, um, yeah, it's, he's actually been in a, a, an extra in a couple of films. So that's really cool. He's actually in a couple of shots. Um, so when I was in my old punk band, we all loved this movie. And actually, we decided that we were going to do a similar situation where we were the punk band and we were like out of place. And we went into a instead of like a Nazi party, it was a, sort of the same situation. It was like a, a redneck party. And there was like Confederate flags on the wall. And, you know, I'm not that that's not that's not us you know that we're not we're not trying to like be political um we don't we don't that's not us so you know we were at somebody else's house and you know they had like their confederate flag on the wall they were doing like tractor pulls and it was like a redneck party and the guy that we did the that the show for or did the music video for um, was this guy that I used to work for, work with, and he was all about it. So at the end of the, like, we were going to be the punk band walking in, and we were going to, like, do our thing and play and be out of place, and then at the end, we were going to be, like, doing redneck pulls, or not redneck pulls, but tractor pulls. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but they take two tractors. This is the huge deal in Wisconsin. They take two tractors, then they pull, tie a rope around it, and they pull each other. I don't know why it's fun. Uh, don't ask me. It is fun to watch, though. Um, they also do this thing called cow chip bingo, where you get a cow and you pay for um, a bingo square. And whichever the bingo square the cow shits on, you win money. They don't do it very much anymore because it's considered animal cruelty. Um, but that's kind of like we were going to kind of shoot all of that. Well, the band fell through and we all, all you got is like one video of us practicing at the guy's house. So, I mean, I think it's floating around Facebook or 
on somewhere. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know where it is. Uh, but it was just us practicing, and uh, we ever and the band fell through. We never got to uh, finish uh, finish it at all. So, uh, which is a bummer because we were gonna shave their mo their mullets into mohawks, and they were gonna get up there, and we were gonna be driving the tractors. I had like coveralls that I was gonna wear with a big cowboy hat. And, you know, we were going to, it was just going to be like kind of sort of a fun thing, but like an homage to this wonderful film that was beautifully written, well acted. Um, and uh, it's it's so funny uh, that the, my friend John's in this because the lead character, and I will always, always screw up her name, um, but she plays the lead uh, character and she's right here. Um, she actually told my friend John that he had a proper beard because she was British, and he totally ignored her. She was totally hitting on him, like, the entire week that he was there. Hitting on him, talking to him, and ignored her, because she looked like a skinhead. <laughs> you were in a movie, dummy! God! But, uh, yeah, I, I always give him shit for that. That's really funny. I said P Sir Patrick Stewart was such a nice guy, Anton Yelchin was such a really nice guy, and, um, he said it, working, on the, working on the set was absolutely awesome. So if you guys have never seen this movie, Green Room, I totally... 100% uh, suggested. Uh, I will say trigger warning for uh, racist uh, stuff. There's a lot of racism in this movie because it kind of bases around that. So uh, if that is a trigger for you, I just want to let you guys know that. So um, that's going to do it for my today's video. I guys hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, stay horror. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we will see you Friday. Stay horror. We'll see you next time.